In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how we can create properties on JavaScript objects that will not uh, appear in the enumerated list of properties on that object when we use the for in loop. So let's say, for example, I have an object here called car. And I'm going to add some properties to it. I'm going to say car.color, we'll make it blue. I'm going to do car.vin, we'll give it a made up VIN number here. So there's our VIN number for the car. And we're going to say car.transmission. We'll say it's an automatic. Okay, so there are some properties on our car. Now if we wanted to display those properties, we could actually iterate over them with a for loop. So I can do var prop in car. And so this will actually iterate over the properties of the car. And I can come in here and do console.log prop, put in a little equal sign, and then call my car object using the bracket syntax and pass in the name of the property. And when I do this, I can actually load up our web page. And I can reload this, and we're going to see a list of our properties. So color is equal to blue, there's our VIN, and then our transmission is set to automatic. So what if I have a situation, though, where I want to add a property that I don't want to have it appear in this list? Well, in ECMAScript 5, we have a cool new function called define property. And in here, we can actually pass in our object, which in this case is car. We can then specify the name of our new property. So we're going to call it access key code. All right. And then we can pass in a descriptor object. Now, the descriptor object has several options, one of which is called enumerable. And if we specify that to false, then it will not display in the list when we enumerate over the properties. Um, additionally, we also have to specify another property called writable if we want to have the ability to actually assign a value to that property. So now that we've defined our property access key code, I can now reference my car object and I can type access key code and we'll just give it the key code of 1234. And to show that we've actually set this value, I'll do console.log car.access key code. And we'll save that. And we'll come back to our web browser and actually reload this page. And we'll see that we're setting our access key code but we have our color, our VIN, and our transmission are being displayed, but our actual key code is not being displayed in that list. Now, if I decide that I want to display that key code in the list, I can always come back up to my enumerable, and I can change that to true. And when I change that to true, I can reload my web page, and you'll see that now it says access key code 1234. So by using this property descriptor and the define property function, I'm actually able to specify whether or not I want to see that property show up in the enumeration when I iterate over the properties of a particular object.